Hi everyone, welcome back to my lab and today's video, which is going to be five tips for surviving the Sephora sale when you are on a low buy or a no buy. Before we get into the video, if you're new here, I'm Jodi. Thank you so much for clicking on my video. I hope you're going to enjoy it and find something useful, a little support to help you out in your low or no buy as we approach the time of the Sephora sale. I've been on a little bit of an informal low buy myself and so these tips are just as much for me, reminders for me as they are to try to help you out and give you a little bit of perspective. Now I'm going to be a total hypocrite and I'm going to follow this video with a wish list video, but hopefully it'll make sense once I explain what my tips are. Now, without any further delay, let's go ahead and get into it. The first tip I'm going to present to you is to keep in mind how Sephora has been received on social media lately. Now, I'm not saying you should establish your own opinions based on what other people are saying, but with what I saw, I saw that they promised to take care of their employees and then they subsequently laid off quite a large number of them in light of the new CARES Act, which will allow for a little bit more unemployment benefits for their employees. And that's all fine. There's a lot of companies that are doing that, and I understand, but it was just what was communicated versus what they did. And then hearing the stories about how the employees felt when they were laid off, it was a little bit ugly, and it, you know, it kind of turned me off to Sephora a little bit. So my first tip is to really think about Sephora as a company and how you're feeling about it, if it's a company that you want to be supporting, especially right now. And keep in mind that you do have the option to purchase any items that Sephora carries directly from the brands or other retailers like Macy's or Nordstrom or Ulta Beauty where their rewards programs might be better and they frequently have sales as well. Also frequently if you're a first-time purchaser from any of the brands website they will often give you a discount for your very first purchase which can usually range from 10 to 20 percent and those brand websites also have frequent sales. So my first advice is to remember Remember that Sephora is not your only beauty source and you do have alternatives to consider. My second tip deals with a lot of the reason why a lot of us shop at Sephora, at least in the US, where we have the luxury of returning items that may not work out for us or if we purchase the wrong shade. Given the situation that almost everyone in the world is experiencing right now, taking advantage of Sephora's return policy is not as easy as it normally would be. So if you make a purchase and it ends up being something that isn't going to work out for you or you purchase the wrong shade, shade, it's going to be a little bit more difficult to return that item to Sephora later on and that will be cash money that you will not have access to because it's sitting in some product that added nothing to your collection. Now I know that you can still ship items back to Sephora but right now taxing the shipping industry probably isn't a good idea given that those are essential workers and they're working really really hard right now to help us keep our country going. For those non-essential purchases maybe it's time to consider waiting just a little bit. This isn't the only sale that Sephora has, there will be others, and I refer back to my tip number one, where brand websites frequently have sales, much more than Sephora does. My third tip is going to be that if you do decide to shop the Sephora sale, that you set your budget before you even start creating your wish list. It's a really practical and no-nonsense strategy. Make sure that you know exactly how much you're willing to spend, and yes, that includes the taxes. Tip number four is to only use cash to pay for these purchases. Do do not be tempted to pull out that credit card. I want to be that friend that's telling you like it is. I'm also speaking to myself. Do not charge anything on your credit cards. Not at this time or any time really. Makeup is not worth it. Just take a look at any credit card in which you carry a balance. Pull out your most recent statement. See where it says finance charges that have accrued for this monthly period. And that is money that you are paying that would have been your discount for the sale of makeup. And that just keeps carrying over and over and over if you continue to carry that balance. So once you set the budget, make sure that you have the actual cash funds to pay for the makeup. Paying for makeup on credit cards is a really bad idea. I learned that one the hard way. And lastly, for my fifth tip, is to once you create your wish list and once you've narrowed down your items to your budget, I would suggest that you create a makeup look from your own stash that is inspired by your wish list. This is especially true if you have any eyeshadow palettes in your wish list. Now I realize that palettes are coming fast and furious and they are oh so pretty. I myself have one on my wish list. 
two on my wish list. I told you guys I was gonna be making a wish list video, but it's because I need your help in narrowing it down to make sure I can fit my budget. In any case, with the eyeshadow palettes, there's only so many color stories that can exist, and you may find that you have the colors that are appealing to you from this nice brand new palette in your existing collection, even if it's in more than one palette. And when you're working with those palettes, heck, you're using two palettes out of your entire collection, and you don't have to bring in another one. So I would strongly suggest that you create a makeup look from your existing stash that's inspired by your wish list to determine if they are items that you really need. Those are the five tips that I came up with to help you keep a little bit perspective, a little bit of good judgment when shopping the Sephora sale. I love the Sephora sale. I have shared many a makeup haul from Sephora here on my channel and I very likely will as well from the sale this time around but I'm definitely going to stick to my budget. I'll be sharing my wish list in my upcoming video so please make sure and tune in for that one so that you can help me pare down my list and help me avoid those things which really aren't good and have no place in my collection. I would really love your help with that. Now if you did enjoy this video and found it helpful, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Leave your recommendations for surviving the Sephora sale if you are on a low buy or a no buy for this year as I'm sure we can all benefit from your ideas as well. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you're having a lovely one and I look forward to seeing you again really really soon on my next one. Bye-bye.